Yes, indeed, indeed. Well, before we wrap, I have to play a quick little game that we play sometimes, and it's my five favorites. Okay. Um, I know that you're a, you're a, a, a foodie, a cook, and all that stuff, so I'm going to play my five favorites foodie edition with you, okay? Okay, cool. That's cool. I'll give you two options, and you just tell me which one is your Alrighty, favorite. All righty, so uh, fine dining or hole in the wall? That's tough for me. But I'm going to go with fine dining because I may have bougie tendencies. <laughs> okay, I got you. Peach cobbler or sweet potato pie? I'd say who was making them. But um, if – is the sweet potato pie warm or has it been sitting out for a while? It's warm. <laughs> you know, when you're a foodie, you have to factor in extenuating circumstances. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with uh, sweet potato pie. Okay. Uh, barbecue or a seafood boil? These are a lot harder than I thought they would be. <laughs> um, seafood boil. Okay. Dinner or dessert? Oh, dinner. Okay. Uh, last, Popeyes or Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A all day. <laughs> I love, listen, not only do I love Chick-fil-A, and I love their sandwich, but those are the nicest people you'll ever meet in your life. Like, I did a, I've only done maybe curbside fooding three times over the last nine weeks. And uh, I went once for myself, and then once I went back to Chick-fil-A to get some food for my mom. And in addition to ordering on the app and being safe and them having a mask on and the gloves and all the things, when, when the young kid brought me around food, he said, God bless you. Like, who? <laughs> what type of customer, sir? If I was an atheist, I'd probably be offended. But what... That, you know, that's the best customer service. You treat me right. You were safe with my food, and you want God to bless me after I eat it. And right. I haven't really said my grace yet. That's good customer. So Chick Fil A all day for me. All day. Uh, tell our listeners how they can find the the video. Uh, that's what friends are for remake, and how they can learn more about what you have going on. Yes, you can find the That's What Friends Are For virtual collaboration. Uh, it's on all of my platforms. You can find me on YouTube. Instagram and Twitter at my full name, J A W N M U R R A Y. Uh, it's also on Facebook. And so just add world to the end, John Murray World, J A W N M U R R A Y World, and you can find it there. And uh, I'm active on all my platforms, a little different approach to each one of them. But uh, hit me up, follow your boy, and uh, let me know what you think of the video. Yes, certainly. Well, John, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And stay safe and stay well. Best of luck. Man, thank everything. you for the invitation. Thanks for all that you're doing. And um, and you can, you had to have just got dressed up to do this today, man, because you can't <laughs> dress it up like that just to be around the crib. Like, there's a, there's a whole lot I, of I did a little just something. To be, there's a whole lot of fashion gotta, just to be in the crib, my man. I got, I got, got a T-shirt on. You got <laughs> full, full wrist action and everything going on. Come on, man. You know, I did a little bit. I did a little you bit. You know I have pajama pants on at the bottom of this video. Like I, well, that that's better than what uh, my boy did. Uh, what the Wayans brother? Uh, what's his name? Oh, Keenan Ivory Wayans. Keenan. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. That that's a whole other talk show topic. Like <laughs> walking around it, or your house with your dong swinging in front of your kids like that. Like I might need to call Child Protective Services. Right. Like Right. That is crazy. John, my best to you. It was great talking to you, sir. Thanks, man. Anytime. All right. Take care.